Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Leaf! Yesterday, we expanded our house, we built a new public works project suggested by you guys! And, well... We have a fishing tournament today that I have not acknowledged in the outro to the last video or the intro to this one, even though it's been brought up twice already. So, first off, mail. Dear cousin Emil, Crazy Red would like to send you some very. That's a great start to this video. Either way, we have a wistful painting. Uh, nothing more complicated than that. We just have a wistful painting. I wonder if it's a wistful wild painting. I like the wistful wild, but that's a story for another day, or not really another day, just a uh, past day in general for those that watch my Pikmin 2 Let's Play. Um, so to the fishing tourney, one thing that's a little bit lame is that your villagers that are out walking around, like Biscuit here, they have fishing rods out. All they're gonna do is talk about fish to you. You can't have normal conversations, they won't give you favors to do, none of that. So any villagers that are out walking around are just sort of bland for the day. I can't really say I like that. I kind of wish that maybe like the first time you talked to them that they would talk about fish, but like every time after that you could just talk to them normally, because... It just feels kind of lame, like, whenever you're taken out of the immersion because your animals are acting differently like that, you know, just because they're repeating text over and over again. Uh, that actually brings me to something. I never did say before what my least favorite thing in the entire Animal Crossing series is, and I feel like I would like to share that right now. Talking to your animals in Animal Crossing City Folk is my least favorite thing in the Animal Crossing series. I just like it even more than animal tracks, you know, the whole grass-wearing thing. The reason for it is that... Unless you leave the map and come back, like, you're in their house, you leave the house and come back, or you are outside and you, you know, go inside and come back out again, your animals will repeat the same text over and over and over every time you talk to them. You are not allowed to get immersed. It basically prevents you from getting immersed in what they're doing. It adds more tedium if you're trying to get your animals to talk to you about certain things. And it's just... Why would you ever do that? It's just the dumbest thing in Wild World and City Folk are basically the exact same game except for very few small things and that's one thing that they changed and I don't get it. Uh, the bulletin board is just telling me about that. Um, we could go to the town plaza and get started on the fishing tourney, but that is basically going to consume our entire day once we get started on it, so I want to head up to Main Street first and foremost because I want to donate that... Wow, that's a great voice crack. I want to donate the whistle painting and I want to see if there's anything up here that I might want to grab. I think I'm going to pick up this festive tree as our second floor is a lot bigger now, and of course, we cannot forget about Zideli Fulsham. He who kicks his problems away may soon find them returning. We get a green shell, a Koopa shell more specifically. Awesome. I also gotta say the really small detail. I think it's just so adorable how Timmy and Tommy, like how like they'll reach into like the wrong pocket and then they like will stop for a minute and then they'll reach into the other one and pull out the item. Uh, I know that they have not existent pockets, but it's just it's so cute. I'm sorry. Just little tiny details like that are just so they add so much to the game despite being so little. Everything's done. Those were all the items that I wanted to do. I ran to the museum and donated things. There was nothing in the gift shop that I wanted. Um, so the very next thing that I want to do is show this snowman I built. Or rather, snow ma'am. Haha. <laughs> I like this. Um, basically, she wants snowflakes. Whenever it is snowing, you might see some realistic looking snowflakes you can catch up in your net. It is not snowed here in town for a while, so I haven't really been able to do this, but I just thought I would show that that is there. You might have gotten a little bit of sneak peek of who we're going to be talking to in just a moment. I, of course, want to go talk to the snowman as well and get our daily lottery numbers out of the way. And you might have recalled that I built a uh, snowman yesterday. I have now built all four types of snowman. And for that reason, I want to go talk to the snow type because he wants his family back together. And we'll see what he will do for us. Let's see, number 11. I have never had him give me a number I didn't have. I'm actually kind of wondering if it's possible or if, you know, he just sort of does that all the time. By the way, that is really creepy, having the two ones for eyes. Ugh. Anyway, and I didn't ever see this dick spot when I was digging stuff up. Huh. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go see Snow Tank. Oh, baby! Got a snowflake as soon as I said it. Basically, Snow Tech is going to, well, what do you mean? I'll say you're welcome. Um, oh wow, he likes them. Uh, I'm gonna send you the most awesome thank you letter and make, make my family so perfect. Normally, Snowman would send you letters uh, with various items after you had built them. 
Uh, what Snowtag will do is he'll look to see how many uh, members of his family are properly proportioned. Based on how many of them are properly proportioned, he will send you things. And holy crap, it is already 4 o'clock. I only have two hours to this fishing journey. We need to get started on it right away. Oh, man, okay. Sorry, I just had a lot I needed to do. Anyway, Chip, welcome, welcome, welcome. First fishing journey, right? For this month's journey, any kind of fish will do, really. Whoever catches the biggest fish is the winner. When you catch a fish, bring it to me, and I'll measure it for you. Every time you, bring a, uh, you break a first place record, I'll give you something good. Try your best to get first place. I'm accepting entries until 6 p.m. If you're in the top three at 6 p.m., you'll be in the award ceremony. So, fish is fish, and fish while you're at it. Bring me all the fish again. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Oh, I should let you know. Fish you give me are not returned. Nope, keep that in mind, okay? Uh, well, good luck. Try to catch a nice, big, juicy one. Yuck. So, we have a beaver who wants to catch, who wants us to catch him fish, and they are non-refundable. Um, just saying, after he does what he does with these fish, I don't think I would want them back. Uh, uh that, wow, that sounds very sexual, now that I word it like that. Um, let's not think about that. In other months of the year, fishing tourneys are going to be that he will give you a type of fish that you need to catch. Um, in this case, of course, the December tourney, he wants any kind of fish whatsoever. It is determined on size what type of score you get. When you catch fish, you will see how big that particular fish is in interest and inches, and each and every fish is different. Um, basically, you just want to give him big fish. That's pretty much all it is. You can go to the tropical island. You can use fish that you've caught in other days. And, yeah, you can just sort of cheat things. I got very lucky that I got this silver rod the day before this fishing tourney. Though. That was very, very lucky of me. Uh, let's start off with a small fish and just sort of see what he gives me. There are also, um, I should mention, there are special items that you can only get through this. By getting first, second, or third place, there are trophies you can get, which are furniture items. Uh, not only that, but there are special furniture items that only he can give you. Uh, with this very, very small fish, this little tiny bluegill, uh, let's see how many points this would be worth. I will say I like the grading system of the fishing tourney a lot better than the bug catching contest, which we'll probably get into another time. Well, actually, I don't know about that because it's going to be like 10.5 inches. That puts you me. That was a second place one? What? A horse mackerel caught by Pietro at 16 inches is the winner right now. Uh, wow. Slip him down raw. Oh, wow, that was so gruesome that my head had to censor it. Uh, burp! Text was formatted kind of weird there, huh? Anyway, um, I think I'm gonna go fish for some saltwater stuff. Um, I could go to the island, though, but I think I'm gonna save that if I really have trouble running into a lot of fish. I'm gonna go catch a ton of fish, uh, probably put them in storage just so I have a bunch to turn in, and yeah, I'll see you guys back here in a little while before 6 o'clock. So, what was the absolute biggest fish that I was able to catch before 6 p.m.? Yeah! Uh-huh. 218.3 inches! I... yeah, I don't think anybody is going to compete against me here. Uh, and he won't even bother eating. That's a shame. I wanted to see him eat that shark alive, man. We were gonna get some face-stomping carnage into the world of animal cooking. Okay, no, I got lots and lots of furniture items from Chip by turning in a ton of fish. How many did I get? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I got a lot of items. I mean, he gave me an octopus chair, a flounder table, a tumbleweed. Heck, he even gave me the kitchen sink. Don't believe me? Yeah, he really did. <laughs> I have a lot of furniture items here, and it would just take way too long to show these off. So, what I think I'm gonna do is, next time that I add a room onto the house, I think I'm just going to have a fishing tourney room, because, being honest with you, I like the fishing tourney furniture set a lot, and even though I would love to show off all these items, I just don't really have the space in my house to display them, and I would want to keep them in my house after a while, so... I'm gonna hold on to every last one of these items just for a little bit longer, and whenever we add a room onto the house, which could actually uh, be tomorrow, uh, I'll be showing those, so it'll give us something to look forward to. I can't even carry all these items. Let me find a page of storage uh, that I can stick them all on. Let me see. Yeah, there we go. I'll go ahead and just do C3. That's easy to remember. I could just be like C3, P.O. Okay. Uh, that was a pretty easy one to make. Um, another thing worth mentioning is that I got a furniture item from Snowman while I was out. I was able to go and catch three snowflakes with my net that I just happened to see while I was out fishing. Turns out it doesn't have to be snowing at all for her to give you something. Uh, if I can find the item that she gave me... Uh, shoot, I'm actually not sure where it is. Had it in my inventory the whole time, but it was the ice wall. 
This is an item belonging to the ice set. It is a new set of furniture that you can get from snowmen in Animal Crossing New Leaf. Personally, I've seen what it looks like, and I kind of like it. I just don't really like it quite as much as the Snowman set, which I was really, really happy to learn that, that set is actually not retired, and that I was just given wrong information by a wiki. Uh, so, very, very glad that we can collect the Snowman set. In fact, we might actually get some of that tomorrow. I'm going to grab this Jingle Sofa, and uh, next, I am going to decorate the upstairs, and we're going to see what it looks like now that we've expanded it. Ah, this is so much better. I can walk around. I can enjoy my furniture so much more. We got that tree over there in the corner. Oh, it's so... In fact, you know what? No. I'm going to go put my stuff stocking under the tree. Yeah, there we go. I know that I'd want to hang it on a wall, technically, but eh, it's a present. It can go there. All right. Are we done for the day? No. We have something going on tonight at 8 o'clock. We also have the award ceremony, which I would be really, really amazed if Pietro was able to regain his lead after that. I mean, he was leading the pack with a horse mackerel that's not even 10% as big as the shark I caught. I think I've pretty much secured victory for myself. And I feel kind of like a cheating bitch doing it, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, well, I will see you guys tonight at 8 o'clock. We're going to go do that award ceremony, and then we have that special thing you do on Saturdays in Animal Crossing. See you guys then. So guys, we're back, and I have something really, really awesome that I want to show you. On winter's nights, when it is clear, no clouds, you have a chance of seeing... This! Haha, <laughs> yes! Northern Lights is what it's called officially, but I'm just gonna call it Aurora Borealis because that sounds so freaking amazing. I've never seen auroras before in my life, but it just looks so grand. Like, it's so much grander than anything else in the world of Animal Crossing. It's so majestic, I could just stare up at it for hours. But I'd like to keep this video fairly short. Anyway, uh, we're gonna head into Chip's tent here, and we're gonna get to see the award ceremony at long last. The award ceremony will begin pretty soon here, even though it's like three hours late almost. I just barely made it in time because it's almost nine o'clock. Pietro, Shari, and me. Are you excited? Well, you should get excited. In third place, with an incredible 16.8 inch horse mackerel, it's Pietro! You mean the original lead took third place still. He gives him the bronze fist trophy. Each of these fish trophies does count towards catalog completion, so it is in your best interest to get first, second, and third at some point or another, or, you know, get a trophy from someone else. This is the only place you can get them. In second place, with a magnificent 19 and a half inch dab, it's sorry. Oh, man. I'm gonna make them feel horrible when they announce my results, aren't I? Uh, yeah, Silverfish, or at least it matches her. She is silver-colored. Aw, she's blushing. Hey, you were close, yet still so far. And in first place, with a nice 218.3-inch shark of me! <laughs> you know, I was playing by the rules. You know, I didn't do anything that was cheating. This is a fish that you can legitimately catch at this time of the year, but... When second place isn't even 10% what my score is, I feel like a cheating bastard, man. Champion Fishers and their yummy fish. Uh, even though he didn't eat my shark, I kind of wanted to see him eat a shark alive, but nah, he didn't. Okay. Looks like that ends the ceremony. I'm looking forward to seeing all of you fishing up a storm real soon. Haha! <laughs> Love that. Okay. So, that's pretty much it. What a really amazing ceremony. I'm completely satiated. Er, I mean, satisfied. Yep, that's it. Okay. Gonna be honest, uh, I kind of want to put the fishing trophy up in the museum, but at the same time, I'm wondering if maybe I should just mail it to Shari, because I feel bad. I, even though that is legitimate fish that you can get, the fact that she didn't even score 10... Well, that'd be disrespectful to her as my competitor if I took pity on her, even though I was playing by the rules, so nah... I won't do that to Shari. Even though Shari is kind of weird, I won't disrespect her. Anyway, though, we can finally do that really awesome thing you do on Saturdays in Animal Crossing. Uh, one thing I want to point out is the Club LOL sign is yellow. Uh, that indicates something special is going on on Saturday nights. The sign can also be blue and pink. If it is blue, I believe, then uh, you will get 8-bit versions of songs from DJ KK, which is kind of awesome. But uh, when the sign is yellow and it is Saturday night... Got some chairs set up, some sleek stools, actually. Tonight, KK Slider is putting on a super special acoustic show. Hope you really enjoy it. I will. This is, out of 
any Animal Crossing character. My number one. I like Tom Nook, and he is one of my favorites. I like a lot of our villagers. But if I had to choose a favorite character based on what they do in the society of this world, this is it. KK. Known to some people as Totaka K. Groovy nut for gig, you dig. It's always good to, to see new cats making the scene. The name's KK Slider. You interested in a tune that'll take you to the moon? Yes, please. Cool, I can dig that. My axe is hot to play. Cop a seat, Pete. You can have multiple people at these. Um, You can have human players from out of town join you for these. Enough tuning. Let's groove. This next one's for you, Emil. It's called KK Moody. I'll just be quiet while he plays. <laughs> Isn't it just amazing? Cool man, cool. Check your pockets, I slipped you a boot of this song. Yes, he managed to slip us the song while playing on his guitar up on a stage while we are sitting in the audience. He is that amazing of a performer. On his first visit, you cannot request specific music, you just get a random one because... Well, when it's random and it's your first time, you're going to get a new song regardless. On future weekends, we can make requests, we just can't right now. So, uh, him saying that he gave us a bootleg of the song, that's something kind of interesting. There was an article that I believe the New York Times ran back in 2005. KK said this in Animal Crossing Wild World, and there was a big controversy that, with that line, Nintendo was promoting music piracy. And it was really, really strange that it was something that people actually got worked up over, just something that KK Slider said uh, over in Animal Crossing Wild World. I'll put a uh, picture on screen if I can find one. I don't know if I can find a picture of the article still, though, but it was really strange, and I have mail. Oh, post office! Uh, funny thing, while I was over at the Tropical Island, any sort of things that I wasn't going to give to Chip, I sold. I have saved over 500,000 bells in the bank. With our heartiest and most sincere gratitude, we hope you enjoy it. Pallet post office. Okay. So I have yet another reward item for saving a lot of money in the post office. Because I'm a good boy and I put money in my savings account. Let's see what I got. Uh, can I? There we go. Letter set. Okay. Letter set is one of my favorite ambient items. I don't know if, it, if ambient's really the right word, though, but items like, um, that you put, like, on tables to make it look like an authentic house. Uh, I'll show you what I mean right here by putting down the letter set. If you put that down on, like, a wooden table or something like that, it would look like a really authentic house, you know, like, messy letters with a quill pen or something like that. Same goes for the, uh, ingredients that you get from, uh, you know, the Harvest Festival, like the vinegar or the sugar. You know, putting those in, like, a kitchen-type room. It's kind of nice. 
very next thing that I want to do is to show off my sleek stereo. Remember when I bought this from the Nookling store a little while ago? Well, I want to put that music that we just got from KK in here so that our house finally has music to it. There we go, KK Moody. I'm not sure I like this song out of the moment. Shame because I like a lot of KK music. I guess maybe I just didn't get a winner this time around. I'll be quiet for a minute so you can judge for yourself. Yeah, I can't really say I'm a fan, to be honest. Um, I'll turn this off before we go to bed. I'm not sure I'm going to keep that playing in our house for now. I'll probably set it up in some other room, but in the main room, I'm not really sure I want to hear that every time I walk in. Uh, plus, on top of that, I think I just kind of like the letter set and how it looks a lot more, so we'll probably do that. So, I know that I said that I was going to pay off my house so that I could show off all that furniture that I got from Chip. It's just that... How can I put this? I didn't make it in time to Nook's to pay it off. Nook's Homes is closed for the night now, so I can't really do that. So it's probably going to be another day before I get the chance to show off all that extra furniture. I suppose I could just drop them in here right now, but I'd kind of like to do a big reveal like I did for the Jingle Room, just because it's kind of fun just decorating and, you know, maybe, like, not just having a explicitly one furniture set, but just having, you know, some unexpected items that we've gotten over time and just putting them in a room together, you know, kind of like that harp or this gyroid, just because I thought it would fit in nice. Or, of course, the garden gnome. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it, though. Tomorrow in Animal Crossing New Leaf, we are going to be paying off our home to Nook at long last. And... I think I'll be announcing the winning design for Wishy the Star tomorrow as well, so... Look forward to that. I gotta say, so far, I really like a lot of your guys' designs. You guys have made some really, really funny stuff, and I can't wait to show it all. Also, at the risk of getting too sappy right here, I just want to say, our time together in Palette is about halfway over, you know, because this is going to end on December 31st, like I've said. And this town is already full of so many fond memories, and just, it already feels like every last screen in this town has some sort of memory of just something you guys did or suggested or something stupid that happened to me that we decided to turn into a thing. And it's just that... I like this. I like this a lot. I wish I would have had a game to do this with years ago. Because I really, really like this idea and just how it's turned out. And I hope you guys do as well. See you guys tomorrow.